Jesse's not here right now. We'll get to part of the video with him in a little bit. But I just kind of wanted to go over our haul for um, our upcoming Myrtle Beach trip. We had a hotel reserved and everything, but everything unfortunately fell through. So last minute, we managed to find a campground that allowed tents and within a reasonable distance to the beach. So we cannot wait. So with some altercations, I'm going to kind of kind of go over what we're packing, everything like that. We're super excited. So we're going to kind of go over some things that we got that was kind of essential that we need. Kind of just for like the survival of the four days that we're going to be gone. We got some power strips. I got two of these um, in a bundle at Walmart for like 10 bucks. Super good deal. It's not the best um, brand or quality, but it will do for camping purposes. We also got some wipes. So that way if there's any accidents, Colt is for So she still kind of has those sometimes. Or if just a quick, easy cleanup, grab a wipe, clean your hands up and go. We have those accessible. We also got these LED mesh rope lights. There's six foot of it. It is a warm white. So it's not going to be super bright. They are battery operated with double A's. I got this from Five Below for $5. And these will be great for the girls' side of the tent for at night when they're settling down. It's not too bright. It's just kind of a dim light to kind of so they can see what they're doing and if they need to do anything to get ready for bed or if they just kind of need it to play games in the evening. So I also have these. I ordered these a couple months ago. These are some LEDs as well. These are solar panel ran. I plan on hanging these are on our pavilion at our campsite. Our campsite does come equipped with a wooden pavilion, a 10 by 10, so these will be able to be strong and recharge during the day, so it's ready for us at night. I also got some push pins um, in case we do need to hang anything off of the picnic table or even the pavilion. They're super convenient, easy to use. I kind of like these even better than staples, so these are these would be nice. I also have some. AA and AAA batteries. I got these at Harbor Freight. There's 24 in each pack for anything that needs to be charged, like flashlights or anything like that. I also got this cute little knife. I say cute, but it's a knife. <laughs> um, it's really small, super easy to handle uh, for a dollar at Harbor Freight as well. I also got some padlocks padlocks there's two of them in there since the girls will have a whole side of the tent to themselves pretty much um, they do have access to their own door in the back of the tent so that will be locked so they cannot leave without our permission or at least our acknowledgement so their door will be locked and we will lock the front entrance of the camping tent when we're like gone and stuff like that so no one can really easily get in. Um, just something kind of we thought would be handy with tent camping and security of the kids. And of course we got some lemon band-aids. We also got this at the Dollar Tree. Uh, it is clothesline. We can hang this from pavilion. We got some um, clothes pins so we can hang our towels or our bathing suits after playing in the ocean all day. Super easy and convenient and cheap. So we also got these solar paneled or solar charged um, lights, like steak lights for outside the tent. So it's easy to see kind of what we're doing. So and so forth with that. Super cute too. Dusty also had me grab some paracord today from Walmart. I grabbed two things of 50 foot strands of paracord so that, that way if you need to string anything up last minute it's ready to be available and he is more than happy to use it with whatever he needs. I also got a citronella candle at the dollar store for five bucks. Super cute little bucket, convenient, easy to carry. But so that way for mosquitoes or anything else we might encounter for bugs. That's there. It's going to be on our picnic table for while we're eating. 
I also managed to pick up this light. Super cute. It was, the button is kind of gone. Woo! But I'm able to use it. It has two different settings and it changes to red. So, there we go. Got that for like two bucks since it was broken. Now, Walmart. Also got some off Family Care Bug Spray. Um, yeah, I mean, for last minute shopping, this is the best that I could come up with. I have heard from some sources, even my husband watches the whole Duck Dynasty family on YouTube, and they have said that a Victoria Secret perfume is more potent than DEET or OFF or anything like that with DEET. Um, so, and that, I guess, is... The Victoria's Secret Bombshell Perfume. I mean, I'm okay with smelling girly and also fighting mosquitoes. I will not complain. So at the Dollar Tree, we also grabbed some drawstring trash bags and some sandwich baggies so the girls can put, like, some goldfish and run around and play with those without making a huge mess. I also got a portable little handheld broom and dustpan so if the girls make spills or we just need to clean up sand out of the tent, it's there. It's not big and bulky like a normal broom. Or if I need to just clean up a spill out at the car with our long travels, it's here. It's ready to go. Real quick, something fun. I also got Dusty and I these water resistant accessory pouches. Um, we're going to use them for our phones while we're in the ocean or in the pool so we can take fun pictures without damaging our phones if we drop them. Because that's, that's always a thing. It's always possible, especially with us. And there's a little lanyard to hook on. Colt and Lahanna just something fun. Lahanna picked up Ken. Colt picked up Barbie. They're like, of course, swimmers. They got swimsuits on. They're ready to go for the beach. So all the girls. And um, just something fun. Lahanna's been wanting Ken. And Colt, of course, loves Barbie. Cole also got a cool pair of Frozen 2 Elsa sunglasses. And Hannah got these, kind of more generic ones. They are florally, they're super cute, they're blue. Her favorite color. Oh, so that's there. We also got a towel with the recipe for frozen margaritas. Um, I got this at the Dollar Tree. I thought they were super cute and convenient because we're going to Myrtle Beach, of course. Margaritaville is there, so something super cute and convenient to dry our dishes or dry our hands whenever we need to. This is a Pioneer Woman Bowl I got for Christmas, and I'm super excited about this because I saw this as a hack, and it has saved me already so much room. So I customized it. I don't have a Cricut or anything, but I saw these rub-on things from the Dollar Tree. They look legit. I'm really excited about these. I was able to customize it, kind of make it kind of cute for our family with our last name. But inside our bowl, by the way, I bought the whole set of these bowls, of course. We're taking another one full of fruit to put in our cooler for the kids. There's plates, silverware, and bowls. Put it on the bowl, put the lid on. It's not going to go anywhere in the wind, so it is... Ready, two, go. I also got this cutting board, these tongs, and this spatula at the Dollar Tree, so it would be super convenient. These are actually going to stay in our camping tote, because we do a lot of camping. I also got some cheap solo cups from the Dollar Tree, some paper towels. I also got these windmills for the kids to put outside the tent so they can watch or play with them, whatever. So I also got this tablecloth and it has the clips. I'm super excited. I do have some extra uh, steel, stainless steel ones um, that I got off Amazon. So I'm going to take those in case these bust or I need more even. But I like this tablecloth. We had originally got this one from the Dollar Tree because it was kind of florally and beachy. And Hannah picked it out. But I'm kind of going to put this over this one in case they do any crafts or with play-doh or anything like that so it doesn't get this one super yucky because i kind of like this one better so 
I also managed to get a paper towel roll holder so it's conveniently ready. We can kind of even kind of zip tie it to the table so it's not going to go anywhere either. I also got some Dawn dish soap, some hand soap, some sponges. And I also got these two totes. One for soapy dirty water and the other for clean rinse water. And we have the towel to rinse or to dry dishes. And we'll also have like a mesh bag we can also hang them so they can air dry as well. So there's many different options with that. This is kind of the kids or the road bag. Of course, I kind of went over Ken and Barbie in their cool new sunglasses. So we also ended up getting some kinetic sand to put in their bag for to go. Um, I'm actually not going to let them play with these in the car due to messes zone, and I'm not okay with that. Um, so they will have these to be able to play at the picnic table um, when they're waiting for me and Dusty to kind of set up camp. Um, so that way it's kind of a easy cleanup type situation. They can still get to play with this. I also got these for on the trip. They are Color Craft. One's Mo Moana, which is Colts, and Sunny Day is Lahana. And they come with these tote bags that you can color on. Comes with eight crayons. There's a little color book and stickers. Comes with a punch out cardstock um, tote with ribbons for like the handles, I'm assuming. Crayons, a sticker sheet, and a coloring and activity book. So they each got one of these. Kind of curious about how these are going to turn out. These will be something just to kind of keep them entertained. The girls love the game Trouble. So this was a McDonald's toy that we kept. Like, they didn't even take it out of the package yet. So that way we can play this, like, before bed or anything like this. Um, or if Colt's just bored in a car. I really don't care if she just clicks it. it. It is what it is. Whatever keeps her happy in the long car ride. I also got these dot bracelets. So they have these for Easter as well. They really seem to enjoy them. So they're kind of like made by Lego. And they have like these little Lego connecting pieces they can kind of connect on to make it their own design or just to make it their own. So we also have that. We also got some crayons. Of course, my little pony crayons. And Colt got Ball Patrol. Hannah chose Blue's Clues. Well, Hannah just discovered Blue's Clues for some reason. I don't know why I've been keeping it from her or whatever. We don't really have cable, so she found it on TV one day, and now she's obsessed. So I'm totally fine with that. So she loves Blue's Clues now. Great. And um, so she'll have that to be able to color it. So color books, kinetic sand, Barbies, these Lego dots, and this color and craft mini tote and of course trouble kind of like our quick go shower bag that i ended up using used it last year from myrtle beach why not use it now of course the convenient poop unicorn so inside well these i guess can go in their little personalized bags but i kind of don't want them to use them on the drive so that's fine i'll keep them in there for like after their first night or something so we also have these grab and go um containers from walmart and i fill them with shampoo conditioner some body wash and oh this is the 3 one kids nighttime soap um it's got like lavender and stuff like that kind of just chills them out which I don't think we're going to have an issue with. We also got some bard soap. So Dusty doesn't have to use our body wash. And sometimes the kids like to use it. We have these clips. Um, to where we can hang our wet clothes or anything like that. Just kind of convenient. Or we can even clip our towels to our chairs. Those. Of course we have a Conair wet brush. Um, so easy to detangle mine and the girls' hair after a long day at the beach of the salt water we have some extra shower caps for like shoes or anything like that to keep sand dirt or debris out of the tent 
Me and Dusty typically wear cowboy boots on a regular basis, and so do the girls, um, or they're wearing their muck boots. But I got these in case we take a pair of boots just to slip in real fast, or I even have them on our new flip-flops, so that way, hopefully, the family gets the idea. You take, put on your flip-flops, you go to the beach, put these back on so you don't drag sand through the tent, because it's brand new. So, hopefully they get that idea. We got some Shimmer and Shine Hair Detangler. We also got some bobby pins for mine and the girls' hair. We also got a On The Go First Aid Kit. It's got band-aids, um, like some gauze, gloves, wipes, the whole nine yards. Something super convenient and easy that I got at Walmart. There's 85 items already in this little pack. Quick, convenient, easy to go. So I also saw this little hack online and where it's like a carabiner clip and this is Colts. She uses these, she uses horse bands for hair ties because her hair is so fine and hair ties just don't stay so we use horse bands. So she has her little hair ties. She also has a little loofah, some hand sanitizer, and her toothbrush and toothpaste and everything. So when she goes to go to the shower with me, all she has to do is grab her clip. She's ready to go. I'll grab everything else. So that way it's less on me, something fun for her to be able to carry. So I have one for everybody of the family. I even have a dusty one. Mine and Dusty's don't have hand sanitizer because we have just some big bottle we use. Um, so yeah, the, my hand has got one and then me and Dusty do as well. So this is kind of our quick, easy shower go-to bag. We're going to kind of go over our beach bag and I'm going to show you what all I'm going to put in. These beach toys are brand new off of Amazon. They actually came in this convenient little mesh bag and actually I'm going to repurpose it for drying our dishes so we can put our dishes in it, hang it. So I already have an awesome giant beach bag to where I can put everything in and it's mesh as well but it's not as big of mesh so it'll still air out and water out. So I'm really excited about this bag. I used it last year. Worked out perfect. So, in our beach bag, what we have, we have a new beach mat um, to where we can stake it down into the sand and the kids can lay on it, or I can even lay on it with my towel and sunbathe. Super excited. We used this last year. Worked out great. So, we also got some bubble blowers. We got two of them, one for each child for at the beach. Or even at just at the campsite to where they can play, keep themselves occupied. We also got some buckets from like the Dollar Tree. We found this even at the Dollar Tree. Where it spins, you pour water and it spins. Fun little thing for Colt to play with. We also have um, this is from last year as well. It's just like a little watering can. We also got a new one, so each kid will have one with our new toys. We also got these. Um, they come with a rake and a shovel, and it also came with these flags. So that way, when you build your same castle with all these cool little accessory parts, you can just put your flag wherever you need it, even then just stick it in the sand. So this pail, I'm super excited about. So this is like a collapsible one. even gets a little bit bigger to where we can make sand castles. Let's see if I can get it fully done. So there it's fully extended and of course with sand in it it'll push it out so it's not so deformed. Plus it's brand new. Haven't used it and you can just squish it down for easy storage. There's that. We also have the pigs' goggles from last year, and just in case these break, we have extra backups. Can't go wrong with having some backups, so no crying children. I am prone for sunburn, so this is our aloe freeze gel. Um, it expires in 23, so this is still good. We took this last year. My sister-in-law's brother got severely burnt, and 
he swore by this. He said this was super good. And this is my supply that I have left from his sunburnt head. So this is awesome. I'm excited to still have some left because I haven't seen any of it this year. So we'll see. I also got some Capitone Kid Clear Sparkle for it's 50 with the U, the SPF of 50 rubs in clear with sparkle. So something fun. Water resistant for 80 minutes. So I'm super excited about this. And this doesn't expire for a little while either. It expires next year. So we're still good with this. Super excited I got this on clearance. Then for me, I need the SPF of 70. Beach Defense Water and Sun Protection because I burn like a crab or tomato or whatever you want to refer it to. I burn like crazy. I always get sun poisoning. So this is what I go to and I still end up with an awful burn with this. I don't want to quite go to 100 because I do because I, I tan pretty well afterwards but with my tattoos and everything I do like to kind of keep it up a little bit to the 70 so that way I am prepared and my tattoos are somewhat safe from the sun and don't fade as easily and fast so super excited about our beach bag and it's big enough to where we can put our towels or whatever we need to carry quick easy grab and go super convenient so that's kind of like an overhaul of things that we're packing in bulk kind of as you might want to say um so i'm going to kind of play with jingo with this into packing it all into the jeep and i am going to come back towards the end of the video with um like the clothes we're packing and stuff like that for our overnight bag for our camping trip i'm gonna come back with that and kind of go through like what's in the kids bags and what's mine in dusty's bag um we're gonna kind of have to pack more compact um so that way there's plenty of room in the jeep still hopefully fingers crossed and that way we're all comfortable and not crabby at each other but for now we're going to go to dusty for his tent review and tour so here he is So we got the Eagle Camp Canyon Lake Cabin, the Tempest and Tent. That is a 20 by 10, sleeps 10 people. There's 200 square foot inside. It has the meshed screened area where it's like kind of like a porch patio. And it also keeps going. There's two large windows on each side and a window in the back and the front. There's also back and front entrances. The screen room area, it does have two rooms. the screen that goes down the front. It zips up so you can kind of block out from bugs at the evening time or anything like that. That way it's more enclosed and then it goes into the main tent. Dusty go. I was, I set up with two kids, Me. and for their age, it became a little complicated, just listening to directions. Um, the directions in the package really isn't written out the best, in my opinion. I'm more of a picture guy than words. It makes a little bit more sense with better pictures. What I like too about the instructions though, they were sewn into the tent bag. So you're not going to get them wet and ruin them or lose them. But I wanted a different style tent than what my wife wanted because I wanted more of a colder weather. Something that had the rain fly enclosed more. But we decided that we're going to get like a summer tent and a winter tent. So that way 
we can cover both bases. Um, as far as this tent goes, we picked it thinking, okay, this will be the best. They have a screen, a large screened-in area for us. Two rooms with just a divider, not like an actual room that zipped shut, which was what I was hoping for, but I couldn't find one that had a nice screened-in area. Um, so far, we haven't done camping, but I like it. I think it's a well-built tent, but the few things that I would change is the windows, because if you come in here, it's a nice window, except for there's no thing to roll it up and hold it, so in other words, it's down here, it's going to get stepped on, but when we go to zip it up, it's not like a traditional tent where it zips up all the way around. You have one zipper on that side. And then one zipper on this side. And then there's nothing along this top. So if it gets a heavy wind, it can open it up. And if it's raining, it rain could get up and through. Mama. Um, the room divider for the kids being so young, I like it. Because it's something that will work out better than a zipper. All it does is it has the truck that then hooks up here on this, fabric, on this little tab of fabric. And then it does it on the bottom too. And you can but like go through corners. It's, like it's, not, <laughs> it's not a bad design. I like it because when we go... Like, in the afternoon, we can open it up to be all one and have sitting area for us all. <laughs> to be able to sit in here in the rain and have fun and play games. So that was a good... That's good about it. The other thing that I like is it came with all the storage for the corner pockets. And then it has these little pockets here I got it. but then it also comes with little tablet holders oh, to hold your tablet, tablet so you can watch uh, yeah. YouTube or whatever it will be great for the kids at night right here. Right or if it's raining the one bad thing is for the kids, being so young, we don't trust them to not try and run off because our youngest likes to run off in the morning. And plus, we're staying at the beach, so they're going to be excited, and so that way they can't leave without our acknowledgement. <laughs> so we lock the back door, um, which we just used a simple little padlock from Walmart. But I... I wish that there almost wasn't the door here, but I'm happy that there is. Mm -hmm. But my overall view of this tent is, I wish that there was rolls for the windows, for the fabric that comes down. Mom, just come in here and And I wish it. that there was zippers on the top. That Either if it went up and around or whatever, but I wish that there was zippers up at the top. But overall, Mom. The construction of it, Mom. like the height, Mommy. so Mommy. the construction Mom. of it, Mom. it was a, it was simple to put up. It's like a traditional tent, but yet it has a lot of strength and rigidity. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, we can hang quite a bit of weight right here without the tent really Boeing. Boeing. Yeah. So it's overall, I think it's nice. Um, the one thing that we did go to upgrade is stakes. Upgrade stakes because 90% of the, 90% of what holds this tent down is rain fly. And the stakes that they give you are the normal flimsy ones. So if you upgrade stakes to help hold it in better. But that's about it. Um, 
the screened in room I really do like, but we got a tarp that's 15 by 11 from Harbor Freight to help cover underneath the tent. And I had my wife get three. So then that way we can also put one up here that goes out a little bit further. And, or we can uh, use it because where we're going camping has pavilions. Pavilions that we can uh, put a tarp around to help block some of the wind. It does have electric pocket. Um, I, we did quite a bit of research into tents before this. Sort of try and find the best one for the value that would try and cover as many needs as we wanted. Mm -hmm. um, Plus, we're the electric pocket or the inlet. I seen on a few where zip were able to be zippered shut. I saw it. And I sort of wish that we could have went with that because been that. it would have been uh, nicer because my wife and kids are scared and, uh, of bugs. <laughs> but so within valuable reason we'll we'll take what we can get for spending 220 dollars this was a good buy i really 220 dollars this was worth it so we'll that's do. my review yeah. now we'll see after we go camp so, bye so cold riding our bike we're getting ready to pack up this will be home around 11.30. Yeah, Colt. Um, so far, the packing is a little outrageous. So, my Hannah's suitcase is down there with her chair. Blankets, in case the girls get cold for the car ride. Colt packed a ton of stuffed animals, but at least she can find it to one box. My Hannah's side. Colt's side, of course, her pillows are going to probably be up against the window, so they'll be good to go. And then... Hold on. The back is oh. just kind of chaotic. Oh. Our tent is huge. Mine and Dusty's hoodies. We have our chairs. Two air mattresses. We got these storage condensing bags. So we got these for our blankets. And we have like three comforters, two sets of sheets, and another blanket in here. So it's a lot. But so it's compact down really good. So we'll be good. I packed this, got this at Walmart, so it'll be easy to pour water out of. I'm just going to put water in it um, to help us like, kind of wash our hands at the picnic table. And then we also have some extra water. Our cooler is full, and I even have more food to put in, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So, I don't know, we'll have to see. And then the girls' boogie boards. Extra food is all up under there, too. So, we're packed, ready to go. And we will see you there. Really quick too. Also, I'm probably going to make a whole new video for our whole entire trip. So this will be the end of this video. Because it's kind of long. It's already like over a half hour. So I'm just going to end it here. So make sure you go subscribe. Like the video. And add some comments if you have any um, ideas on how I can change my editing. Or what editing uh, programs you may use. Because um, I could use some help with that, or if you have any tutorial videos, please put the link in the comments so I can kind of watch those and kind of update my skill a little bit. Um, I'm not very good at it, but we're getting there, so make sure you subscribe!